Good morning. It's Monday, July 3rd, and I actually didn't get a chance to look at that skid loader last night. I just took it back to the shop and kind of left it there. Um, we're going to take a look at it this morning and see what's wrong with it and hopefully get that issue fixed. Um, I also have some guys washing equipment today in trucks. We are getting ready for the 4th of July parade, which is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So not a lot going on as far as landscaping today, but uh, we're going to get some trucks washed and get ready for the parade. So I will see you guys back at the shop. So here's inside our shop. It's a 40 by 120 building, 18 foot tall ceilings. And I have a really nice pressure washer set up here. It is 3,500 PSI, three gallons a minute. Gets super hot. So if you ever want to purchase a pressure washer, get a hot one. They work 10 times better. You'll use half the amount of soap. They work really good. So if we got trucks, equipment that's really dirty, I usually have the guys washed outside. We try to keep the shop pretty tidy in here. As far as products go, we use this. This is a truck and trailer wash that I buy on Amazon in a 55 gallon drum. And this 55 gallon drum lasts us about a year. And last time I did the math, it came out to about a dollar per wash. Whether we're washing a truck or a piece of equipment, it's usually about a dollar's worth of soap. And this stuff works really good. In the winter time, we don't normally scrub them down. We just foam the soap on, let it sit for a couple minutes, and wash them off. But since we're getting ready for the parade, we're scrubbing the hell out of all these trucks. So now we're washing the Kenworth dump truck. First thing we do with this is take some Aluma Bright and spray down all the aluminum with that, get it uh, cleaned up. We don't polish our wheels here, we just keep them clean. So the Aluma Bright works really good on that. Um, it is some pretty nasty stuff, so you don't want to be getting that stuff on your skin. But as you can tell here in the video, that uh, it really brightens the aluminum up. And then we're just going to scrub the hell out of it. So same thing, we're going to foam it down and uh, scrub it like crazy. This truck doesn't get washed as much as I'd like. So we're definitely taking our time and doing a good job. So she's parade ready. Also, we did wash the excavator all up. Uh, the first thing we like to do with those, the skid loaders or the excavators, we like to wipe the grease off of them. Usually use a little bit of starting fluid on a rag and wipe all the grease off. If you do not do that, the pressure washer sprays the grease off and then it ends up on the walls or on the floor. It drives me crazy. We're just loading it up, getting it ready, chain her down, good to go. So this shop's been up for about three and a half, four years now, and as you can tell, I'm pretty picky on keeping it clean and organized. So usually after we get done washing equipment, I make the guys squeegee the floor, nice and tidy, looks nice. My mechanic, Mike, got a chance to look at this today, and he said the code was for a faulty injector. So, probably do fuel filters and a full maintenance on it, but uh, <clears throat> gonna have to find some injectors. So, I called John Deere, our dealer close by, and uh, of course, they don't have them, can't get them back ordered. So, I'm going to go home, do some research, see if we can find some or if I can send these out somewhere and have them rebuilt. I don't know. So the turbo is good, which was surprising to me. But uh, yeah, it's an injector. So this one's going to get a full service and probably a new set of injectors. So hopefully we can finish that job in Prairie with a wheeled skid loader. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's a lot easier working in sand with a track machine. So, 
Now I gotta wash my truck, get that ready. My truck is gonna pull our landscape trailer, sorry, our mowing trailer, to the parade tomorrow. So, time to get this one all dolled up and looking sexy. So as you can tell here, she's pretty nasty. That's what she said. <laughs> Definitely needs a good wash. So this is the foam cannon I like to use. I like to use the one on the garden hose. It's just a little bit easier than using the one on the pressure washer. same thing as the other trucks scrub the piss out of it and rinse her back off and now I'm applying the wax which is the same process as applying the soap put it in the foam cannon shoot it with the hose let it sit for a minute and rinse it off this is the product we use for the wax and it works really really good So here's after the wash and wax. So it beads off pretty well. Shouldn't say it beads off, it beads up pretty well for easier drying. And I mean that's this has never had a ceramic coating or anything fancy like that. Just uh, washed and waxed quite a bit with these products so now I'll just run around it with a leaf blower and uh, be ready to go. I mean come on is there anything more satisfying than that? God it looks good. Alright got the old girl all washed up Looking pretty good. It could use a good clay bar and uh, good wax, but yeah, it cleans up pretty good. This truck's got about 150,000 miles on it. It's plowed snow for three seasons, so. Yeah, it's about as clean as you're gonna find one for that many miles in a plow truck, so kind of my baby. I was going to get a new one and then I priced them out and uh, thought that was pretty ridiculous. Basically a hundred grand now. So when I bought this one it was 62. This is a 19. So I don't know. I might just keep this one and run the wheels off it. Say screw buying a new one for a while. I'm going to close up shop for the day. Go get something to eat. Probably call it a day. Actually, now that I think about it, I gotta go check on my freeze pop situation. I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, I'll probably take one of the work trucks home tonight. This one looks good. I usually like to drive the other trucks once in a while just to see if there's anything wrong with them. Or they leave straw, bales, and seed in the back when they're getting rained on. That is stupid. Ugh. Doesn't matter how many times I tell them to clean these trucks out. They never do. You know, and then nobody will see shit like this. It will not get fixed until I say something. Drives me nuts. Got the world's strongest rubber hose here. Alright. Put that on the list to fix it. Yeah. This truck's got quite a few miles on her. 
don't know if you can see that. 349,000 miles. Still runs strong. Still plows snow every winter. And it's got ice cold AC. All right, let's go check on those freeze pops. We got 1,500 freezies to pass out in the parade tomorrow. And not all of them are frozen yet. So, kind of getting a little concerning. Got some like that. And we got some that are completely froze. So, hopefully, tomorrow. Got tomorrow till about noon. So, hopefully, they'll all be frozen. If not, then I guess we're handing out juice packs i don't know so well i'll talk to you guys in the morning when we start getting ready for the parade see ya so we all met up at the office and uh kind of made a game plan and we all convoyed down to boscobel to get lined up for the parade you're good Other way! Yep. Yep. Straight. Whatever. Come on. You act, oh, you act like you work in the office here. I That's do. good. Stop. You guys are smoking in my truck? Not at the moment. What I'm the about fuck? to. You're gonna be on YouTube. You telling me John doesn't smoke in your truck? I told him he can't. Oh. oh yeah, it's running. Just park down there. Where is this going? Right, J and J. Your truck? Oh, on the on the forks. Oh. Go help him unload that mini loader. Mike, you wanna grab those? three flags in the trailer on the mower. We'll get those put out. I set them on the zero turn in the front. So you got a park right there or what? Oh. Yeah. What do you think of all that power, John? I like it. Yeah. Megan said you're going to buy one? Uh, I need to test drive this one to kind of see him back. Okay. <laughs> do you think we can uh, borrow it for our vacation? No. No. I want... uh, it's a no for me, dog. I wanted to buy it, and then he said he didn't want to sell no, it. No, so. I didn't say buy it. I said well, borrow so if, it. If I was going to buy it, why would he, and I don't have it, why would he let you take it all the way to Tennessee? John, these can go on the back window of this truck. It's called a test drive. That, that's a not really a test, long test drive. That's not a test drive. That's a joy ride. Well, test drive, joy ride. <laughs> it's about the same. No, not even close. Everybody's fighting over my truck. All right. Uh, I want one on the excavator boom. And then let's try to figure out how to tech. If you want to maybe bring this stuff, just put it all in this box and we'll... Put some of this stuff on everything. See if we can get a flag on your truck, Mike. Somewhere. Oh, you're kind of parked kind of crooked there. It's all right. I'm a girl. We'll leave you in the office. <laughs> I know that I'm supposed to go the opposite, but in my brain, it doesn't work like that. Anymore. Yeah, where are we putting the generator? Mm. I thought we were going to put it up top and just ride strap it, but we don't have an extension cord. Is there one in 201? Might be. Let's go look. See if there's a extension cord or something. I mean, that'd be the best place. Yeah. Room 
for a generator on there. Wrap that flag around Megan. just gonna get sucked in there. So you guys pass out these freezes, you gotta count them, so don't lose count, okay? We actually have to count them? Yeah. Alright. I've never been in school. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's like 1,500 in there. Alright. And some of them aren't ripped apart. So, you know, if you see a family of three or four kids, then just hand them, you know. You guys ain't gonna be out there ripping freezes all day. Try to, try, to, I want to see how hard you try to keep the freezer closed too. What do you want this on um, I don't know. Looks like a diaper. Alright, so now you can see here we got the mini loader with the freezer. And I got a couple guys handing out freeze pops. Went over really well. Everybody loved them. We were the only people with four vehicles in the parade. So that definitely gets some attention. But uh, we had a lot of compliments and uh, it seemed like a great turnout.
All right, and that's how a parade goes. Uh, you can see how much work this is. I mean, in this short little video, it doesn't really show, but uh, it's a lot of work to get ready for parades and to do them. But uh, I think it pays off. You know, I've always had people come up to me and say, hey, we saw your trucks in the parade. They sure look nice. You know, can you come give us an estimate? So um, if you're a small business owner, I highly recommend parades. Um, it really gets your name out there and really shows that uh, you care about the community and like to do nice things. So, but that's it for this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.